a sense of what the, the economic opportunities are surrounding the new airport. What I hope to get out of today is to get a really good understanding of exactly what they have planned, what the time frames are, what other um, industries are they engaging with outside of the actual precinct of the airport. I'd like to welcome everyone to uh, the conference today. This is a very bold and ambitious plan. It looks like the leadership is there and it's a great opportunity uh, for the future of the region. Very lucky that she's here to tell us about her vision and her government's vision for Western Sydney, Western Sydney Airport, the precinct to surround the new airport and of course the, the, the very important region of Western Sydney. Ladies and gentlemen, please warmly welcome the Premier of New South Wales. Today is a significant milestone, it's an exciting milestone. I think it is going to be a complete game changer. Um, Western Sydney already is the economic and infrastructure powerhouse of our state. This new city around the second airport is just going to be outstanding in terms of jobs, in terms of uh, new industries, in terms of freight and logistics, uh, in terms of making us another gateway to, to the whole world. When the airport opens in 2026, 4.5 billion people, 60% of the world's population, will be half a day's flight away. Now it's time for our first panel discussion. Just wondering about the whole importance of branding and, in, in, and market positioning. I'm really uh, excited to come back one day and see uh, the new Western Sydney Airport. Uh, I think it's bold and ambitious, but from listening to your political leaders here today, uh, I think you guys have the right ingredients to make it happen. One of the things I've heard over the last sort of couple of hours is passion, energy, commitment, um, a desire for a business, government and the airport to work together. A once in a lifetime opportunity for Australia to, to put a 21st century airport up and build an economy which is going to not only develop Western Sydney but provide ec uh, the connectivity and efficiency to get goods and services into North Asia. I think there was a genuine sense that we kind of shifted the needle on the thinking about the airport and I, I couldn't believe how many people actually came today. There were over 400 delegates, a lot of people from around the world, from interstate, um, so it was exciting. It is about working together and actually building a community, building this region together. You know, how it connects the community out there, what it actually means uh, for the people from Western Sydney. We're passionate about airports, we're passionate about infrastructure, so it was important to be a part of this conference. This is a once in a hundred years opportunity. This is an opportunity for us to manage the jobs deficit, which we've experienced in Liverpool and the South West and West for many, many years. Yeah, the guest list here today is, is really impressive and really inspiring. Um, and something that we're really excited to be a part of. The business community becomes fully aware of what the plan is, what the timetable is, what the opportunities are, and then can make its necessary investment commitments from there. So that's really the job of the Chamber. There was definitely a real buzz here at this conference, and certainly there were real practical ideas that everyone believed would definitely be put into place.